Welcome again to another Carpenter Examples tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to do a job test in ANSYS Workbench. Now that we have ANSYS Workbench opened, let's jog and drop uh, explicit dynamics analysis system in our project schematic window. And let's double click on engineering with engineering open we need to go to engineering data source and here we are going to add some general nonlinear materials so let's scroll down until we get that so once we click on that we have the option to choose our materials let us add a aluminium material and also some concrete. With that done, let's go back to our project. And now we want to import our geometry. Please note that the geometry will be provided in the link below. So let's click on geometry. Let's right click and import and let's browse. Let us go ahead and open mechanical because our geometry is already imported now that mechanical is open firstly always remember to change your units to what's needed so here we're going to use metric millimeters and kg newtons seconds etc and then we Let's use our middle mouse button and rotate our geometry to something suitable. And then we can hold shift on the middle mouse button and pan. And let's zoom to to fit, which is good enough for, for us. Now let's add some materials and dimension to our phone. So click on the phone in your project window. If it's closed, you can just hit the plus button and select phone. And let's change our thickness to 0 0.5 millimeters. So once you enter 0 0.5, you can simply click outside and it's keyed in. Then let's change the material to the aluminum material that we inputted in our engineering data. Following that, let's go and add some conditions to our floor as well. So let's click on our floor. Let's change the stiffness behavior to rigid. And let's also change the material to concrete. With that done, let's add the coordinate system. So let's hit the drop down. And if you click on coordinate system, and then you go to your ribbon, it automatically opens a ribbon. You click on coordinate system on a ribbon. Then a new coordinate system is created. Now let's manipulate the, the details for the coordinate system. Firstly, let's change defined by to global coordinates and then let's change the axis. So principal axis, let's change that to Z and we want to define it by geometry selection. And we change our selection to edge. And we're going to select this edge and click the change, apply. Now our principal axis has been set. Let's also go and check our orientation about principal axis. And that's supposed to be Y. 
So if it's if you have a yours as x, change that to y and define by geometry selection. And this time we're going to select this top edge of our concrete floor. And you want to click here and then click apply. If you see that your y is going into this direction, there's nothing to panic about because you want it to come in this direction. Just click here and let's change the direction of that. Let's click apply. And now we see that our y comes in this direction and our z goes up. Now with that done, let's go ahead and manipulate our mesh. So let's click on mesh in our project window and let's change the default to two millimeters. Enter and let's come to our ribbon, our mesh ribbon, and we're gonna generate. So if we go down to statistics, you can see our, the amount of nodes and the amount of elements that's generated when we use an element size of 2 millimeters. Let's now highlight explicit dynamics and it goes to the explicit dynamics ribbon. We can change our properties here or we can right click here and change them. So firstly, as we have support here, we're going to add a fixed support and we are going to make sure that body is highlighted here and once that is highlighted, we are going to go ahead and click our floor and let's click apply. With that done, let's right click on explicit dynamics. Let's insert the standard or gravity. We need to change our coordinate system to the one that we created. And of course, our gravity should be going down. And now let's right click on initial conditions, insert velocity. And we want to change define by to components and our geometry should be the phone so let's click here make sure we have body selection highlighted and select our phone apply and now we we make some changes to the z component and let's make that minus 5000 millimeters per second let me click outside Now, let us go to our analyst settings. So you can click on your analyst settings. Let's make this a little bigger. And we're going to input an end time of 0 0.001 seconds. And you click outside. Now let's go to solutions right click on solutions insert total deformation deformation total and we're going to repeat the process right click insert and stress and we're going to insert the equivalent stress so now that we have finished inserting those let's click on solution and let's solve. This will take a while, so just be patient. Now that our simulation is completed, well, our first solve, you can go to solution information, and here you have all the solver output. We can now go to total deformation to view our results for our first solve. So if you don't like to see the mesh, you can always come here and change that to 
wireframe and you can change it to contours to smooth contours uh, that's how I like it because job test simulation takes quite some time to compute we need to do each solve with small increment so now that we have done that with a small increment and the simulation seems to be quite okay we are going to now increase the time so let us increase our time so let's click on analyst settings and we need to go down to our last solve you can get that at resume from cycle so once you click there go to our last solve so at 823 and of course we need to increase our time so let's change it from 0 0.001 to 0 0.01 and of course we want to solve this one will take some time so you can go ahead and maybe have a, a nice football now that our simulation is completed let's analyze our results so here we have our total deformation our equivalent stress let's go to solution information let's change our solver output after you check your solver output data you can go to energy conservation and here you can analyze your data now let's go ahead and run a quick animation so I'll go to graph prepare it and two seconds is okay and let's click click play and here is a quick animation of our job test Thank you for tuning in to another tutorial with Cabinder Examples. And remember, everything that you do, do it well. Bye for now.